Well, hey guys, here it is, a firmware Sunday. Axe FX3 firmware 22.00, public beta, beta 6. This is the first phase of the public rollout of the Dynacab technology. Right now, Axe Edit isn't even ready for it. Let's go over what this firmware entails. The firmware is now comprised of two components, a main firmware image and a Dynacam data image. Both must be installed in the correct order. Firmware first, then Dynacam data last. Note, the current version of AxeEdit is not fully compatible. So as you can see here, these instructions say download the new FractalBot. And when you go there, you'll see that there's one for OS X and one for Windows. Then download the firmware files. Extract the firmware SYX file and the Dynacab's SYX file. Install the new firmware as usual. After rebooting, you'll see a warning that the Dynacab data is not installed. Press exit. Install the Dynacab data. Be sure to use the new FractalBot from step one. Drag and drop Dynacabs.SYX onto FractalBot as you would a firmware image. Send the data. Reboot when instructed. There are currently 25 Dynacabs. We expect about a dozen more for the final release, including some base cabs. Here's another page on the firmware release notes. Yeah, I'm not going to read through these. If you want to read them, just hit pause. And Cliff's final note says you can mix up to four Dynacabs. You can mix and match any combination of cabs and mics. Position sets the radial distance of the microphone from the center of the speaker. Distance sets the distance from the grill cloth. As you move the mic away from the grill, the bass typically rolls off and more room is heard. I will have the links for the new FractalBot and for the new firmware files in the description. If anybody feels like trying it, <laughs> be my guest. I am going to hold off until Axe Edit is ready and then I will put out a video about it. Alright guys, hope you had a great weekend and I will see you on Wednesday.